Electric 2024 Ram 1500 REV confirmed for next year. Concept unveiled. Update. Everybody's lane caught a shoplift. Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thought this. Place the pain, it's like candy canes. It makes me go change into a better frame, into a better name. Society's insane, we all live for fame. Yeah. Cash in the bag, stadium packed. Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Do it no cap. Only God wants to, you better go. The showroom version of Ram's new full-size electric pickup will be known as the 2024 Ram 1500 REV when production begins next year, it has been confirmed. Ram US says, more details, of the Ram 1500 REV are due to be announced this Sunday, US time, or Monday in Australia, ahead of a full unveiling, in the coming months. Drive's original story on the Ram 1500 Revolution concept revealed last month, and the production revs chances for Australia. The 6th of January 2023, the electric 2024 Ram 1500 BEV pickup has been unveiled as in concept form at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, in Las Vegas, named the Ram 1500 Revolution. Ram hasn't disclosed the complete specifications of the 1500 Revolution, but revealed the vehicle is fitted with dual electric motors for all-wheel drive and four-wheel steering. Power outputs remain unknown for now. The U.S. pickup specialist says the production version of the 1500 BEV, battery electric vehicle, will be a leader in a combination of areas customers care about the most, range, towing, payload and charge time. Although only teased as a concept car for now, Drive understands Ram Trucks Australia has already expressed interest should an electric version of the Ram 1500 go into production in the U.S. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay A locally converted right-hand drive version of the electric Ram 1500 would, however, likely be years away from local showrooms Production of an electric Ram 1500 would likely be prioritized for the U.S. market initially, which means Australia might not get access to such a vehicle until 2025 or beyond. In the same way the supercharged Ram TRX flagship arrived in Australia a few years after its U.S. debut. Underpinned by the STLA frame architecture, a skateboard-style layout similar to that used by the electric Hummer and Chevrolet pickups rather than a body on frame, Ram claims 160 kilometers of driving range can be added in 10 minutes when using an 800 volt DC fast charger at up to 350 kilowatts. While battery and range haven't been announced for the 1500 BEV at this point, Ram's parent company Stellantis has previously claimed the vehicle will offer up to 800 kilometers of driving range from a battery pack of 159 kilowatt hours or more. 
Instead, design was at the forefront of the pickup's unveiling, with the 1500 Revolution concept showcasing the brand's new direction, which it calls, brutiful, brutal yet beautiful. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only got one, so you better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack, baby, I'm bad the platform uses smaller electric motors which allowed the cabin to be brought forward, extending the length of the cabin by more than 100 mm without sacrificing the size of the ute tub. The dual cab concept is equipped with rear hinged doors for second row occupants, creating a grand saloon style opening, thanks to the lack of a middle roof pillar. Behind the second row seats, the concept vehicle's rear cabin wall is able to stow the retractable rear window and then fold down like a ute tailgate, to create an open-air two-seater pickup with an even longer cargo hold. The load space from the back of the vehicle to a ski port at the front, the front boot, or front trunk, area under the bonnet, allows for almost 5.5 meters of storage. It's unclear whether this cabin layout and storage option will make its way to the production car, or if this is purely a feature of the concept car. An animated RAM logo is displayed on the front of the 1500 Revolution, with LED lights integrated into the vehicle's body at the front and rear. Digital cameras replace side mirrors on the concept vehicle, while a head-up display with augmented reality is projected ahead of the driver onto the windscreen. Also featured are a powered charge port door, a powered tailgate, powered side steps, powered rear step with active diffuser, and flush mounted door handles. Ram says sustainable materials have been used throughout the interior of the concept, including a recycled rubber and cork floor and synthetic leather derived from apples. Twin 14.2 inch infotainment screens are mounted on the center dash, with the lower screen able to be removed and used as a tablet, vehicle controller, or video game controller for passengers. RAM has also developed Shadow Mode for the 1500 Revolution, which allows the vehicle to automatically follow the driver at walking speed like an obedient dog, for situations such as collecting tools at a job site. Smart home devices can also be controlled from the vehicle, while a vehicle personal assistant uses artificial intelligence to follow voice commands whether the owner is inside or outside of the pickup. The Ram 1500 Revolution is fitted with multiple exterior projectors, allowing critical information to be displayed on the road ahead of the vehicle, but can also be used to project movies and other media. Representatives for Ram Trucks Australia declined to comment on any future product plans but said the company is always looking at opportunities to expand the range locally. Drive understands Ram Trucks Australia is yet to formally assess the suitability and demand for an electric version of the Ram 1500 locally because, for now, the vehicle is only at concept stage in the US. Cash in the back, stadium pack, baby I'm back, baby I'm back. I got